10 Greatest Movie Villains Owen Shaw of The Fast and the Furious 6 Owen G. Shaw is a former major in the Special Air Service and a mercenary for hire. He is the main antagonist of Fast and Furious 6. Owen is the younger brother of fellow mercenary Deckard Shaw. He was responsible for Arturo Braga's rise to criminal power and orchestration of the assassination attempt that almost killed Larry Ortiz. He later recruits her into his team of skilled criminals with a shared vision and mission to collect a series of military hardware to create a nightshade device and sell it to the highest bidder. His plan was later foiled by Dominic Torello's crew. Owen was hospitalized for injuries sustained from falling out of his military transport plane. The character was played by Luke Evans. While we cheer for Vin Diesel, Paul Walker and other leading characters to actually win the battle against Shaw, we couldn't deny the fact that he is absolutely cool, smart and skillful. Attributes which we hate to like from a villain. Number 9. Bill of Kill Bill series. What made Bill a unique villain is that he actually loved the main character Beatrix Kiddo which was played by Oma Thurman. Aside from that, what separates him from the other villains is the fact that he had plenty of opportunities to kill the main character but just refused to out of self-righteousness. The character was played by David Carradine. I'm a murdering bastard, you know that? And there are consequences to breaking the heart of a murdering bastard. Number 8, Caster Chai of Face Off. This villain was played by two actors in the same movie. In the earlier part of the movie, the villain was played by Nicolas Cage until his face was switched with the protagonist which was played by John Travolta. This made the two actors switch positions. What made Castor Troy a great villain is not just that he is an intelligent psychopath who has the skills to take down any oppositions, but mostly because he is played by two of the best actors in the industry. Number 7, Agent Smith. Agent Smith is the main antagonist of the Matrix series. The character is played by Paul Weaving. Agent Smith himself in the series is the creator of the chaos in the movies. However, although his goals conflicts with the goal of the main protagonist, Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, he has no emotions towards his every achievement because he is just a program who serves only the purpose that he is designed to or the purpose that he decided to attain in the movie's case. Few of the best dialogues in the movie were delivered by him. This is what I do. Mad Dog of the Raid Redemption. He does not deliver the best lines in the movie. He does not look something out of the ordinary, but his fighting skills and confidence are out of his world. Although most of his role in the movie was about fighting, he did so by making it look as if the fight is real. And there were occasions where he intentionally put himself at a disadvantage just so he could be challenged. The role was played by Yayan Ruhia. Number 5 Voldemort of the Harry Potter series. In the eight movies, he have attempted to kill Harry Potter, the one thing that he never succeeded. He is very intelligent, very powerful, and very ruthless and ambitious, which made him a dark lord. Aside from these skills, 
He can also manipulate people into his advantage because he is so good at reading them. The role was mostly played by Ralph Fiennes. Number 4. Thanos of the Avengers Endgame and Infinity War The most powerful villain so far in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He wiped out half the universe including some of the MCU's most powerful superheroes. It's hard to compare him to other villains since he is just perfect. He's very intelligent, very powerful, and he's motivating to what he thinks is right. He will do everything just to show his might. It must be noted that he didn't have to lie just to trick or play with anyone. He knows who he is, and anyone who thinks otherwise are free to challenge him. Another unique motivation of this villain is his desire to get defeated. Yes, you heard that right. As a kid, many attempts were made to his life up until he grew more powerful. Inside him, he knew he wanted to meet with someone who might be able to topple his power. Genocide. Ninja understands that invisibility is a matter of patience and agility. Number 3. Ra's al Ghul of Batman Begins Although he is just a human, his ideals and his ability to lead can destroy a city. He did want to destroy certain cities and succeeded a lot of times. He believes that it is for the greater good. He is the leader of the League of Shadows. His mindset and his fighting skills are his best weapon against Batman, the main protagonist. This character was played by Liam Neeson. Number 2. Joker of the Dark Knight This one is a no-brainer. The Dark Knight is the deepest superhero movie we have ever seen. Joker took most of the credit because of Heath Ledger's acting and also because his character represented a believable villain with a deeper sense of being. He is a villain unlike any other. He does not need logical things like money or fame. He just want to see the worlds burn and the people suffer, maybe just because he is too in the inside. If you have not watched this film, you have missed half of your life. Number 1. Iceberg of the Titanic The iceberg was the reason why our hearts were broken, the reason why Jack couldn't be with Rose anymore. Iceberg had hurt thousands of hearts and had flooded the theaters with tears. Iceberg deserved the top spot. By the way, this villain was not played by any actor. 